Our world is an incredible mix of impossible to explain phenomenon and overwhelming information that's left many puzzled as to the nature of strange things from around the world. To bring these mysterious phenomena to light and provide them with an understandable explanation, scientists and researchers have conducted a variety of tests. Although they've done a great job at helping us understand certain discoveries and anomalies, there's some that still remain a mystery. One place that's of particular interest is that of Antarctica, with the frozen wasteland hiding many artifacts that are just waiting to be discovered. The most recent discovery to come from Antarctica was found by someone using Google Earth. A number of different photographs were posted to social media showing something sticking out of the ground in Antarctica, with those who saw the images saying that it looked like a giant pyramid was peeking out of the snow, and this caused some to say that this artifact could be visible due to the melting ice. One of the users who stated they found the image first said they were looking through Antarctica, and could see something that appeared to be higher than the surrounding area. They said that they then clicked on the 3D version of Google Earth, and could see the structure much more easily, saying that the first thing that came to mind when they saw it was that of a pyramid. Others who saw the images said the structure does look like an ancient pyramid, and even compared the overall look to that of the Mesoamerican pyramids. Those who believe that these are pyramids give different ideas for who is behind them. There's some that believe that ancient man travelled to Antarctica thousands of years ago, and started building large structures, the same as what can be seen in other ancient civilizations. While there's another group of people that believe that Antarctica may have been inhabited by an advanced civilization, Noting that books and ancient writings talk about humanoids much more advanced than modern man, and they've said that this civilization could have lived in Antarctica. One user said the following about the image. This is just the most recent photograph to emerge. There's many that are like this and that seem to depict large structures. I understand that scientists have a certain way of thinking and like to push their views but you'd think that curiosity would get the better of them and that they'd want to investigate what these things are. To me it seems interesting that we have large structures sticking out of Antarctica, yet most academics don't seem interested in them. Well this user said the following, Time and time again we've been wrong about Antarctica, and each time the science has changed. For example, years back scientists said that Antarctica was not of interest, and that there's nothing there. But now we know that it holds complex life forms in underground lakes. Early asteroids have been found there. A huge anomaly is located under Wilkesland. An ancient jungle once existed here, and also the land was once inhabited by dinosaurs, and this was backed up by the recent dinosaur fossils that were discovered. End quote. It's for this reason that some have said that scientists and researchers should be more open-minded about these kinds of discoveries, saying that humans could have spread to the continent of Antarctica and started building here. Skeptics, though, are not won over by these types of photographs, and have said they can be easily explained when you look at the surroundings of these images, saying that when UFOs are allegedly found in Antarctica, look around the area and you will normally find mountains nearby and what's likely happened is a piece of ice has fallen off this mountain, and has left a mark in the snow, and this is what people are claiming is a UFO. They also apply the same to these structures, saying that they're not pyramids, but rather rocks that have become visible due to the melting ice. They say that we've never found anything of interest, and that all of these photographs can be easily explained. Believers, though, have said this isn't the case, and that many of these strange objects can be found scattered throughout Antarctica. One believer said the following about the skeptics. It's interesting that skeptics have the same mindset as hardcore theorists. A hardcore theorist believes in everything, and skeptics believe in nothing. They're pretty much the mirror version of each other. I think it's healthy to keep an open mind about these kinds of discoveries, but I think we should also look at other possibilities. 
It could be a pyramid, or it could just be an area that's been revealed by the melting eyes. This photograph is one of the most interesting ones that I've seen, and I think it could show a large pyramid. End quote. To show how unpredictable the area is, scientists were surprised when they found hot flows of volcanic magma underneath Antarctica. Nestled on a remote bit of land in the South Sandwich Islands, researchers confirmed suspicions of a lava lake by taking high quality imagery, and this was of a known active volcano in the area. Scientists believe that the massive lava lake has a diameter somewhere between 90 and 250 meters, with a pool of lava reaching heats of 1000 degrees Celsius. Lava lakes are giant pools of molten lava built up in craters, volcanic vents or other geological spaces. And while we might imagine volcanoes being the perfect place for a big pool of lava, long-lasting lava lakes are not a common occurrence, and to find one in such an isolated part of the world is an incredible feat. These photographs are currently being shared around social media. The image shows what many are saying is a big fund, Jacksonville, Florida's Facebook page posted the following statement. The Sheriff's Department just validated the photos, and the Finding Bigfoot team has been deployed. I will update as information comes in. A Florida man is happy to be safe at home after a scary incident. John Doe spotted a Bigfoot in the woods on the water's edge, and took these amazing photographs of the beast. He said the following. At first I thought it was a grizzly bear, but once I got a better look I realised that it was definitely a Sasquatch. The Sheriff's Department is currently examining these photographs, but they are expected to verify their authenticity soon. This is a developing story, more to come. End quote. When the photographs were shared online, many said they are some of the best that have been shared in recent years noting that this could be the real deal. Many people then shared their own experience with Bigfoot, with some users saying that these creatures can be found all across the United States, while others said that this isn't actually a Bigfoot, but rather the skunk ape, another large bipedal creature that's said to live in the US. For years now residents across America have reported encountering these mysterious creatures, saying that they are notoriously difficult to photograph, and that you don't usually run into them because they keep their distance, saying that they can sense you from a mile off, and will be gone before you can reach them. But every so often someone is able to capture some interesting images of these creatures, leaving us to question whether they're real or not. Those that have allegedly encountered them have said they are genuine, and that there's a small population of them spread throughout America. One user said the following, These photographs are really interesting, and they remind me of the stories that my dad shared with me. He said that in all of his years of hunting, he only encountered two big ferns, saying that they are incredibly shy and don't often approach humans. One time he told me that he saw a large figure hiding behind a large stack of trees, he said that when he was around 50 meters from it, he suddenly realized that it wasn't a human, but was actually a large Bigfoot. He didn't approach any further and backed off immediately. He said it was strange because at one point all of the wildlife in the area went silent, and he thinks this is because of the Bigfoot. To this day, he swears by what he saw, and is a firm believer that Bigfoot is out there. Another user had this to say, I'm on the fence with Bigfoot. I really want to believe that is real. I've heard some interesting stories about them, which have come from credible sources. I've also heard some out there theories as to why we can never find them, some of which link them to the UFO phenomena. I hope these photographs are real. I really want to believe. While some skeptics in the comment section weren't buying the photographs, saying the following I don't think this is a big vent. To me, it just looks like a man in a suit. 
possibly a hunter wearing some kind of camouflage. The photographs are quite clear, which makes me think that the person in question wasn't too far away, and the original photographer didn't want to get too close otherwise it would have been obvious that it was someone in camouflage. There's no way that a Bigfoot creature exists. We would have found evidence of it by now, and if their size is in fact true, then you would need a large population of them to exist. We've never found any genuine footprints or skeletons of this creature. It's not real. End quote. Those who have researched Bigfoot sightings have said there's some things that you should look out for, noting that one of these signs of a Bigfoot is that of broken branches. Bigfoot researchers have said that you can often hear them breaking branches if you're alone, and that if you follow the sound you won't normally find a Bigfoot, as they'll be gone before you can reach the area, but you might find some of the snap branches. They've said that they're unsure as to why they do this, but said it could be them creating dens, or they could do this to communicate with one another. Bigfoot sightings and encounters aren't anything new. Reports of these elusive creatures have been reported for hundreds of years now, and there's some that think these could be animals that are unknown to science. It's important to remember that the mountain gorilla was only discovered in 1902. It's for this reason that some Bigfoot researchers have theorized that it's a large ape that roams the Americas, and that it's able to avoid humans. After all, there's countless stories of ancient humans having run-ins with large bipedal ape-like creatures. These reports have come in from America, Australia, and Asia. In fact, early mountain climbers would report seeing large hairy men high up in the mountains, claiming that they towered above them, and were the gatekeepers of the mountains. As of right now, those scientists have said there's no such creature, and that the reports that are coming in can be easily explained, with them noting that the majority of these sightings are either pareidolia, or someone misidentifying another human as a Bigfoot. Some trained hikers and officials disagree with these statements, and have said that there's various hotspots throughout the United States where these creatures live, with national parks allegedly being a hotspot for these cryptids. Many have come forward and said that while hiking, it feels as if lone, high-pitched sounds are following them. Some believe that there could be creatures lurking in our national parks that are causing disappearances. So what do you make of these Bigfoot photographs? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.